Hello everyone, Vampire218 here, bringing you my week two match of the JBA Pokemon Draft League. So, looking at my roster, it has changed a little bit. I ended up dropping Mew for Latias and Rhydon for Sandslash. So, this week I was against the team of the Mew, the Minneapolis Mews, and looking at his team, there was quite a big amount of threats. Although, I did see there was a lot of fire and water types, so I really prepped for that, and Mega Gardevoir also proved to be an issue. So, looking at his team, though, I saw that he didn't have too many fast Pokemon. The, the fastest was Talonflame, and I believe after that was either Mega Gardevoir or Infernape at like 110 or 108. So, either way, he didn't have too fast of Mons. So, looking at my team, I, uh, I did some prep for that. So... As we'll just get over to my team here, which I can't actually open. So I decided to bring Mega Lopunny, and I put it at 224 speed because at this speed, it is going to outspeed his entire team after Mega. And I ended up bringing Fake Out just for a free Mega Evolution because I use Fake Out when it comes in um, off of not a hard switch, off of a death switch. And I'm able to Mega for free without taking any damage. I brought High Jump Kick to just do massive damage i brought return to again do massive damage and i brought facade this week because i saw a lot of his team had the capacity to status me so going again back to the muse he had you know manaphy he had uh which can talk to me he had talent flame which could burn me and melodic which can burn with the scald he had infirmate which can burn he had a lot of options here to status me down and i was really worried that if i got you know burned megalop and he would not be able to pick up kills so, I ended up going 362, as I said, to outspeed his entire team after Megad. I went Adamant Nature because it just gave me that boost to attack because I didn't need the extra speed. Uh, I ended up putting the other 32 into health just so that it had a little bit extra bulk. Uh, the second one I brought was Volcanion. I thought this would be very important because a lot of his team is either fire or water. So, Volcanion was my automatic answer for that. And looking at his team again, I saw, again, a lot of speed here. So I ended up scarfing the Volcanion. And again, going 232 because Scarf Volcanion at 232 will outspeed his entire team. So brought Volcanion with the Scarf, put the rest in Special Attack and into Health with a Modest Nature. Just again, to get that massive damage out and have just a little bit of extra bulk for when it is taking those hits. You know, classic moveset, steamer option, better scald, uh, flamethrower. I like it more than fire blast just for the accuracy. I didn't expect to need flamethrower too much this match because, again, a lot of water and a lot of fire types. Flash cannon. Um, I, I just brought it just in case. It was a good coverage move. And HP electric. This was really crucial because this is what lets Volcanion hit other water types and i really really needed that so hp electric was there now i wrote entei this week because again another i needed a heavy physical hitter and entei really was my answer for that i didn't want to bring entei because of the water types but i did so I gave him iron head to try and take on the mega gardevoir um the problem is he did not outspeed the mega gardevoir because he was adamant and um I just, I didn't want to risk that, so I also had to have priority through extreme speed. I used Sacred Fire just because that 50% burn chance on a move that has 100 power is pretty good. And Stone Edge because he had a lot of fire types, so that was my answer for them. I gave him a Life Orb because, you know, I needed that extra damage. And I could have scarfed him, but with the extreme speed, I didn't see the point. Ditto, uh, a pretty classic Ditto set, just max uh, HP not really much else i choice i scarf my ditto because when he comes in he copies whatever you have and then he automatically outspeeds and ditto usually can copy something that can kill itself so deonce i brought with uh 248 and uh hp and then 252 special defense with that last eight points going into attack uh this was just so i could tank the special defensive hits the special attacks you know a lot of his mons i saw could either be mixed or a lot of them again were fire types so deonce really is okay taking a fire move or two so 
if he was using a physical fire move, the Rocky helmet would hurt him and whatnot. But either way, Deontay served more as a cleric for me. Uh, she has Heal Bell, Stealth Rock, Diamond Storm, and Toxic. Uh, really important to get Stealth Rocks off of this match, I thought. Because, again, looking at his team, I didn't really see many ways for him to remove rocks. He had Smurgle, and he had, you know, Talonflame, and I'm not sure. I think Kabutops might learn Rapid Spin. But either way, you know, he didn't have enough ways to remove rocks that I thought he would be bringing or if he did, like, defog Talonflame, that thing would still have been taking half coming in to defog. So, careful nature, just to uh, give myself that extra special defense, because I needed this thing to take some hits. And then my last one was Cobalion. Uh, again, another Rocky Helmet, because this thing also served as a tank. This was my defensive tank, combining with Deontay to make a pretty solid defensive core. Uh, 252 HP... 250 to defense and i actually should have lowered this hp just by one point in case he brought rocks but well you know live and learn impish nature because a lot of my moves uh were physical other than volt switch and volt switch was just there to give this thing switching ability uh justified good great ability i saw he had you know scrafty so i wouldn't be afraid of taking something from a scrafty and you know, a couple other mons can learn knockoff so either way, this is what I prepped for this week, and we will jump right into the match. So jumping right into the match, I see that he brought the Talonflame, the Mega Gardevoir, Infernape, Manaphy, Melotic, and Scrafty. Now this is really good for me because having two fire types and two water types, I'm set because I had prepped for a heavy fire water bring, and Mega Gardevoir I had also prepped for. Now Scrafty I didn't prep too much for, but... I didn't. I wasn't afraid of it just because I had many mons that could just deal with it. So jumping right into what's going on here, I'm gonna uh, do this. I lead with Deontay because I'm figuring Deontay should be able to live a hit from any of the mons he brought and get up the Stealth Rocks. And he leads with Talonflame, which is a pretty customary lead when you bring a Talonflame. And I was I was so excited about this because this means that I am gonna get up three rocks. And Rocks, this match, I know, are going to do just so much work. Because he has Talonflame, which would take half. Uh, Gardevoir, which would take a little bit. Infernape, which will take a uh, quarter. And then the other three will just take regular damage. But I know that I need to get a Rocks up. So, he goes for a U-turn. I like, It's a resisted move, so it does nothing. I actually end up doing more to him with my Rocky Helmet than he did to me. And then he goes into Infernape. Perfect. Perfect. I go for my stealth rocks, and I love it. Now, I know he's going to probably be packing a fighting move, so I just outright switch, because I know I'm knocking out speed, and I switch into my Volcanion. And again, I know he's bringing a fighting move, so whatever. I know that Volcanion can take these hits. So I go into Volcanion, because now Volcanion has a water move, so he's forced to switch out. And I'm predicting the switch here, so I go for HP Electric. And I see that he's life orb. So I go for HP Electric here, predicting a switch into either Melotic or Manaphy. Manaphy, or Melotic comes in and takes 12%, which is perfect. HP Electric hits and does 38%. Now this is perfect for me because I am a scarfed, uh, scarfed Volcanion. I know I'm going to outspeed uh, his entire team other than the Gale Wings talent plane. So he gets a little left. He's recovering and reveals that, which is good. Now, being scarfed, I know that I actually cannot kill a melodic outright because he can just keep recovering and living so i switch into my cabalion because i'm not uh, and i'm really not sure why he went for the dragon tail here i'm not sure if he realized i was scarfed or not but either way i um i, I take a dragon tail and it does no damage my again my helmet hurts him more than i he hurt me so i switch I, I get forced back into volcanion and i'm thinking well whatever i i forced the switch again into cabalion hoping he'll go for another dragon tail and hurt himself but he goes for recover which is perfect because this lets me get off a t-wave now he's paralyzed and it paralyzes him right here perfect and then I go for a Volt Switch, just to see how much damage I can get off with a Volt Switch. And I see that it's only about 22%, which is really not that good. So I go into Ditto, uh, just to scout his moveset, and I eat the Scald. And it's whatever. So seeing his moveset, I see that he has Ice Beam and Scald as his only two real damaging moves. And he goes for a Scald again, but whatever. And I go for a Dragon Tail. 
because it's really it is a damaging move, but it's not why it's there. I go for a dragon tail just to um, force him into a little bit extra rock damage on Infernape. And having burned, it really doesn't mean anything to me because uh, Ditto at this point will be switching into a special attacker. And then he s switches again into Manaphy because he knows I can do a water type move, but he doesn't realize I'm Scarfed. So I go into, uh, he goes into Manaphy and it takes some damage. And I go into Volcanion because I can eat a water type move all day. He's forced to go back into Melotic. And at this point, I just HP uh, Electric him to death because... I know that he's paralyzed, so I'm just hoping for that paralysis, paralysis to stop recover. And uh, he ice beams in here. I, I'm not sure what he's thinking. I think maybe he thought ice beam would do more, but uh, either way, uh, I'm guaranteed to outspeed. I just kill him, and he loses Melotic here, which is his first Mon down, and it's good for me because now I have the momentum having killed him on. And he brings in Gardevoir here, which is able to trace water absorb, and that's really shitty for me because being Scarfed... Um, being scarfed but also uh being scarfed into hp electric and not being able to use any moves i just go into deoncy because i know deoncy should be able to live a hit and then he uses synchronize and i have honestly no idea what this move does so i have to look it up and i'm like wow that's a really interesting move it deals damage to pokemon of the same type that's kind of neat so he goes for a psy shock and i'm really not sure why he goes for a psy shock either unless he was predicting a switch uh but either way he goes for a psy shock here and Entei takes about just under half, but after life or damage, I'm, I'm dead either way. So I extreme speed just because I want to get that damage onto it. And I see that he loses 61%, but I eat a Psy Shock and die, which sucks. But I've lowered the Gardevoir enough that I know that Megalopony will be able to deal with it. He senses the threat, switches it out into Manaphy as I go for the Fake Out, just to get some good chip damage on uh, Manaphy. And I do about a quarter, which is really nice. So I go for a return because I saw that at this point, if he has no investment in HP, I will just outright kill because the returns minimum damage with my set does 55%. I'm also pretty sure that I would live whatever a man if he would bring. So I go for the return and I just outright kill. And it's perfect. He goes into Infernape and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with an Infernape. I'm not too sure if return can outright kill. Plus I saw that he had priority. So I just switch into Volcanion just to be safe, and he goes for a nasty plot predicting the switch, which is a very smart move. But because I'm Scarfed, I can Steam Eruption and just kill him. And so he goes into the Gardevoir, which takes the damage again, and I go for a Steam Eruption and just kill him because I'm Scarfed. And now he goes into the Scrafty, and it intimidates me. I really don't care. He takes the rock damage, and I miss the Steam Eruption, and this is really important. I mean, this is what makes the difference either way i still outspeed him with the scarf and um i almost kill him so that would have been a death with the other steamer option however he knocks off my scarf now and i know i will not outspeed so i'm just forced to go into cabalion i'm thinking he'll go for something else but he goes for a drain punch gets all his health back and i realize man i messed up pretty bad although having the uh having the rocky helmet to do that damage does put him in kill range Again, for other mons. But either way, Volcanion, I have to sack off here just to get a good hard switch into my Ditto so that I can copy his buffs. I actually intimidate outweigh his attack after taking his speed and attack. And I do a Drain Punch and bring him to 4% and bring myself up just enough. And uh, he Drain Punches me, but it's just below the point where he would need to be because I did 39 and he only has 32 now. So I, uh, I get a kill here with Ditto, and it's awesome. Uh, even though Ditto is burned, which is really interesting because it's that attack boost that really did it. So he goes into Talonflame. I know that Talonflame will just kill me, so I go into Deoncy because I know Talonflame ha is a, um, I think it's a physical set from what I've seen so far. So he roosts here, makes sense, but I know I have a uh, Diamond Storm on this. Brave Bird does nothing to me because I resist it. Takes a lot of damage here. And then Diamond Storm just to get the kill. So this has been my week two match of the JBA. I have been Vampire218, coach of the Ontario Amistars, pulling out a win. If you like the video and you want more Pokemon Draft League content, please remember to leave a like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully we are able to keep up this momentum in week three. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.